look at that just in there let me show you see that orange tip that is where the proboscis is which has the harpoon in the surprise that is awesome patterns on the top shame about that break inside but it's kind of like a peep through because it's perfect on top or live arabian cowrie and that one's huge so that's pretty cool number four live g'day everyone welcome back to the channel it is a cold windy day down under let's see what awesome shells we can find today let's try to hit 300 likes on this video get excited we're gonna find some awesome shells Here it is. It is absolutely giant. If that thing is empty, uh, that will be my best textile cone shell ever. But it is trapped into the corner there, so I reckon it is indeed live. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness, that thing is massive. And it's live, absolutely. Let me just get it up here. Wow. Let me get it right up here so we can take a look at him. Holy cow, that thing is huge. Look at it, I've got like 40, 50 centimeter long tongs and that thing is like a third of it. Wow, that is a deadly live textile cone shell right there. One of the most dangerous animals on the planet. He's obviously been washed up by the storm. Look at that, just in there, let me show you. See that orange tip? That is where the proboscis is, which has the harpoon inside, which uh, stings the prey kills it within 10 minutes. Isn't that incredible? Got me trusty tongs to do it for me today. Wow, that shell is just incredible. It's gigantic. Wow. I haven't seen one of these fellas in quite some time. It's awesome to see them around here. Wow. So much power in such a little shell. I'm not gonna grab it. I do not wanna test my fate today. You look at that awesome I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back where he was I'd say it's definitely the largest live one I've ever seen so uh, we'll put him back down there Wow hopefully he's still there and didn't get washed away he was on the wall there so that was incredible yep right there he is all right that's incredible. Let's keep looking for awesome shells. A big Arabian cowrie under here. It's like half buried. Definitely want to take a look. See, there it is. No idea if it's whole or not, but it looks good. Let's just let it clear up a little bit. Surely. Yes. Nice. Empty, of course. Awesome. That's the best find of the day. Actually, one of the first. We've found so many live shells so far. And that's a nice little live, uh, not live, empty Arabian. You can always tell because there's sand inside. Easiest way to tell. Nice, got that octopus hole. Awesome, I'm pretty excited about that. It's been a while since I've been able to come normal shelling. So that is sweet. Haven't been able to check out uh, Checkered Bonnet Bay just yet because it's it just keeps coming up and down. Maybe now. I did want to check in here. Snail shells. Oh, a cherry. And some other cowrie right next to it. Purple cowrie. Now, nice cherry. I was meant to say wow, not now. Anything else? Really quickly. Coral frags. Not too much else. Sweet. I'll take a cherry. It's a nice one too. <laughs> awesome. All right, I think we'll come back and check out the front of Checkered Bonnet Bay here later because that's what's happening. It's just way too crazy right now. That was a nice little score. Oh, that was a big old fish under that one. Dang, I wish I got film of that. I just saw its tail. There he is. Look at that. Oh, he's just swam back under. Don't think he'll come back out with me here. We'll leave him be. Is that a bonnet shell? Let me just pull up my sleeve a little bit. 
Nice. First bonnet shell of the day, actually. Found a broken one earlier, but it was broken. Ah, Harry Triton piece. It's a shame. I love Harry Tritons. Nice little bonnet shell. So we got a cherry cowry, a uh, Arabian cowry, and what else? What is that? I can't even see what that is. Ah, uh, yes, a classic rock shell. You've tricked me again. Oh. Anything hidden around up here? Broken bonnets, lots of snail shells around. All right, let's keep moving. Guys, I'm really hoping this uh, Arabian is whole and not alive. I've seen so many live ones today. Yes, nice. Awesome. Another Arabian cowrie. That is the second empty one of the day. This one is huge. Much better than the first one we found. This one's a little bit bigger and it's more like clear on the top. How sweet is that? This has been an awesome episode, you guys. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe down below. I post pretty much every single day here. That's awesome. I am stoked on that. Where's the sun? Nice. Arabian cowrie. Let's go. All right, let's keep heading down. Big checkered bonnet here right now. Nice. Beautiful. First one of the day too, which has been pretty uh, rare to happen lately. We've been getting bonnets every day. Look at this part right here. Yeah, there's been uh, bonnets everywhere recently. Winter is the perfect time for bonnet shells down here. What do we see? Do I see much in here? Too much. Let's grab up a handful. Yeah, just all rocks, honestly. In that one. Oh! Yes, a textile cone. That is so cool, though. Look at that, eh? What a surprise. That is awesome patterns on the top. Shame about that break inside, but it's kind of like a peep through. Because it's perfect on top. That's awesome. I'd much prefer that than like a common uh, one that's not broken, honestly. That's really cool. Look at those patterns on top. Nice, that is beautiful. And then it shines a little light on the inside to check it out. That is so unique. <laughs> Can't believe that, just sitting right down there. So if you're new to the channel and new to shelling, this is the same shell as the live deadly shell that we found earlier in the episode. But this one is empty. And that's a really easy way to tell that it is empty. It's got a giant hole inside you can see straight through. Wow. Really, really nice, simple pattern. Alrighty, let's get straight into some more shell, shell finds. Let's go. Looks like we have a cone shell here. Let's check it out. Yeah, I never find these ones. They're really slimy all over. Like watch, I'll try it. I'll, It'll literally slip out of my hands like that. Look at that. Um, underneath all of that grime, though, it is super slimy. Uh, underneath all of that is a really nice purple color, I believe. So I'll have to dip it in bleach one day and check it out. But they're pretty rare, pretty hard to find. I do see a big old bonnet right there. It's buried in a bit, so let me pull up my slit. Oh, no, hold on. I don't need to. Dang. It's got a big broken hole in the top of it. That's a shame. I was excited for that. All right. It's pretty windy today. So I might have to come back to the front here. Of well, live shells today, look at this. We got a big old Arabica. Live fella. Awesome. <laughs> so many live shells must have been washed up from the high swells. Sweet as. Wow. It's got an octopus hole, but it's alive. That's weird. <laughs> Pretty interesting. We're at uh, Checkered Bonnet Bay right now. So let's take a look 
around here for some more shells. Uh, hold on. Big old wave. This is behind Checkered Bonnet Bay here. And then that is Checkered Bonnet Bay there. We might have to come back to it when it's um, a bit lower. Maybe now? Should be able to give it a shot. beach right now and we might have a live Arabian carry but it also might be empty because I cannot tell whatsoever if it is empty or live what do you guys think comment down below if I were to guess I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's empty because it's not really moving comment down below oh wow it's live I thought for sure it would be empty because like it's just sitting in the middle of nowhere but it's a tiny fella Cool. Second live one today. Oh wow. There's another one in there. Oh, is that empty or? I'm gonna say that's live as well because um hard to tell. Very hard to tell. Let me just push on it. Please nothing bite me. Oh yeah, definitely alive. And there's another one there. Look at that, three. Live one in there. Don't want to grab that one. But that's number three live one. That's number two, we'll put him back down there. And then, oh my goodness, there's another one. They're everywhere here. Look at this, that's number four live Arabian. Just in there. I'll grab him out. Say hello. Nice. Number four, live Arabian cowrie. And that one's huge. So that's pretty cool. Number four, live. And number five, live. This one's huge. Wow, that is a big fella. Very nice. Super long. That's probably the biggest live one I've ever seen. Awesome as. Well, see you later, buddy. Later. I'm gonna go find some shells. Pretty rare here. Wow, look at that. It's a bit faded, but it is a uh, Timus watchus. How cool is that? Rare species of shell. Very cool. Definitely dead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good to get that out of the ocean, eh? Pretty interesting. Shame it wasn't a brand new Apple Watch. Ah, oh, well, one day. All right, let's keep moving down the line. We've got a big old volute here. I had to rush in really quickly because the water comes up high here. Look at that. Nice little volute. See what I'm talking about? That's why I had to run. Wow. Very nice. Pretty happy with that. Haven't found one in a while. It's got some uh, rust on it. But sweet. Eww. Let's go. Right, guys, here are all the shells we managed to find today. My favorite one of the day, oh, it's tough. I think it would be this like frog shell sort of thing. I think it's really cool. That was the first one of the day as well. So that was really nice. Uh, second favorite would be the Arabians, of course. This one is huge. Check out the size of that. Very, very nice. Not even an octopus hole. So that's pretty cool. Then we had this Arabian that does have an octopus hole. This one's a lot shinier, so it's probably a lot uh, newer. Pretty cool. What else we get? That textile cone. The empty one anyway that live one was pretty wild with the hole inside pretty cool it's like a window into it i did find this one off camera didn't bother showing it because it's really broken but check out that purple color that's incredible pretty pretty sweet got a cherry carry of course no octopus hole little topper shell there a timer swatches that'll do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching subscribe down below uh, see you later.